All right, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, I don't know where I left off with the whole stereo replacement thing, but uh, here it is, like two weeks later. Um, I went to Best Buy and to grab the new stereo, and they didn't have it in stock, so I had to wait a, a little while for them to get it. So I had the uh, the 30 HDT, and they upgraded me to the 500 HDT. Um, the old one, I don't know if you if I said it or not, but the faceplate didn't remove uh, something was broken with it and the USB the USB didn't work so I returned it and they replaced it with the newer model so I'll show you what's going on in here real quick and we'll go install it in the truck first of all you got your main power feed this does all your speakers and the power and you know powers everything up um, I can see by looking at it it's different than mine so we're gonna need to I can't use the old one that's in the truck, crap. So anyways, we'll have to uh, cut that out. Um, and then this is the antenna for the GPS. Um, the one in my truck is the same as this one. Let's see. Yeah, the one in my truck's the same, so I can do that. And this is if you have amplifiers and subwoofers and stuff, and I don't, so I'm not using that. We're just gonna go stock with it. I have the owner's manual. And then uh, stereo itself. I'm going to need two hands, but I'll show you that real quick. All right, so here's the head unit. Just your basic touch screen um, with some hard buttons on the side for different controls. Your map button, menu button, uh, video button, a volume, a door here to get into a micro SD card. Um, this is for auxiliary in case you uh, want to run your phone off of it and you don't have Bluetooth on the phone because this is Bluetooth so I don't need a wire for that and on the back you have uh, your AV in and out your main power um, this is what is this oh this is the iPod this is the USB for the iPod uh, like I said if you have um, Bluetooth you don't need it um, this here is your oh, the steering wheel remote is the black wire and this is the subwoofer and then you have your microphone for your uh, well one of these is the microphone oh this is for the video this is the microphone for your iPod or for your um, your Bluetooth uh, this is the I guess this is like an SD video type of deal this plugs in for your um, I don't even remember what that's for. But anyways, these, these wires are already in the truck, so I don't really need to do anything with that. And then this is the antenna. So now let's go out to the truck, and I'll clip the old main power off, and we'll bring it in and solder this new one to it. So uh, just hang on with me for a second, and we'll go out there. All right, so this is the wiring harness that's in the truck. This is the factory Ford plug, and the plug that you get with the radio is right here. Um, the other end of it, this one here, is different from that one. So I'm going to need to pull this one out, and then we'll go from there. So uh, hang on one second, and we'll, uh, I'm going to unplug this and cut the wires, and then we'll go back in and start reinstalling. All right, after a couple minutes, uh, what I did was the old wiring harness for the old stereo uh, was, was this end, okay? and I need to get this end on there because that's what plugs into the back of this and this plugged into the old one now it goes to another plug that you have to actually buy aftermarket that plugs into your um, into the main into your main power from your from your from your specific vehicle so these these are different and they come labeled all their wires are labeled uh, to where they should hook up to the to the one for the stereo a lot of them I don't use. I don't have a power antenna. Um, I don't have the power remote out. Um, the illumination control, that's, you know, that's the orange wire to orange wire. So, you know, they're, they're, everything was labeled nicely to uh, hook up. I soldered and shrink wrapped everything. These two are for uh, two wires that I have in the truck right now that they just kind of piggyback into these. One is for um, the satellite radio power and then the other one is for uh, the DVD player so it can be played without being in park and parking brake on and all that 
crap. But anyways, you look that up online if you want to do that. The rest of these are speaker wires, uh, two fronts and two rears, and they take two wires each. And on the harness, it comes with the same speakers. So I'm just going to strip these and hook these together. Then once that's all done, this harness is just completely done. This plugs in the back of stereo and this plugs into the main power that comes out of the dashboard. And once I get this hooked together, we'll jump in the truck and we'll hook that up and I'll show you what that's like. So stand by. All right, so that's it for uh, hooking up this wiring harness. Uh, speaker wires and all the power cables that you need for the components. Everything, like I said, is labeled on the plug that you buy and the plug that comes with the vehicle. Uh, the wires are actually uh, labeled and on the cable that you buy it's actually it's actually labeled on the wire you can't really pick it up with the rate or with this uh, camera but it is so this plugs into the main wiring harness in the truck this plugs into the back of the stereo these are wires that I don't need for my application and so they're just the ends are just cut clean and they're just gonna stay loose so and like I said there's wires that hook into here that are in the truck but uh, let's go out in the truck and uh, put this thing together. Okay, out in the truck. It's actually a couple days later. As you can see, we got some snow and we had to go to work. And I also had to order, order a part. My old stereo, uh, JVC, this is a 5000. The other one was a 30. I don't remember the name, but anyways, it's uh, satellite ready. In order to uh, hook up the satellite, for Sirius and XM, you had to buy a couple things. This guy here, um, what's that, vehicle tuner, and then this guy here, the radio interface. And the antenna, the antenna for the Sirius went in there and then goes up on your roof, and then this hooks up to this box here, which then hooks up to the back of the stereo with this plug. And this plug or this outlet on the back of my stereo was different so I went to a store and I didn't know if they maybe sold this cable that came with the right end but it turns out this whole this whole system here is obsolete and what they did was they switched it to this it's simpler it's smaller this just plugs or this just you just zip tie it to a wiring harness in the back to keep it out of the way your antenna plugs in here and then this plugs in the back of the stereo with that hook there that goes right there so we're gonna hook this thing up and uh, see what we got alright so here we go wiring harness gets plugged in there for the main power uh, this is for um, a USB that I'm not gonna use uh, this is the microphone for the uh, Bluetooth this is that new uh, Sirius connect that I just plugged in and then the antenna the antenna for the Sirius is right there and then the radio antenna is right there and then this plug right here is for what's this for oh this is for the for the uh, hands-free uh, Bluetooth and then uh, that's it so we're gonna oh and I also had to put these these spacers on here um, because my dash is the opening is too wide so you'd see a gap so I had to trim all this out from the last stereo and then uh, this will slide right in. So let's pop it in and turn it on. All right, it's all plugged into the dash. Fits real nice in there. Uh, there's a, f a little filler strip that I have somewhere that just fits along this top edge. It's not too bad. It's black in there, so it doesn't really doesn't really affect the looks of it too much. But this filler strip was definitely necessary, and luckily it fit from the other stereo. But uh, let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, so HD radio, I just had this programmed a couple stations, and so HD radio is real nice. It's you know it's got this you know all the information that you need, um, whatever, all the tuning and stuff, and then the menu button here, and then the Sirius XM. I have to call there that 800 number uh, to transfer it over to this this unit, but that all seems to work good in this preview channel. And, yeah, so that's that's going to work out good. And then uh, 
what do we got? iHeartRadio, Pandora, um, you know, other stuff for uh, iPod and all that junk. And then uh, the map. Uh, this is daytime, so the map is white. At nighttime, it's black. So that's real cool. And then uh, quick menu and junk and whatever. Anyways, everything seems to work. And uh, let's just see if the Bluetooth works. Da, 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 no. Let's see. Let's just grab a real song real quick here. Play. Make sure this is up. Uh, let's see. Audio Bluetooth. Yep. All right. So that's cool. So I can just Bluetooth my music from from the car and yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah, so anyways, that all seems to work good, so we're good to go. The only thing I don't have is a rear view camera, and I don't know if I'm going to put one on this truck because I plow snow with it, so the back end's always full of ice. But anyways, she's all plugged in, and I just got to call uh, Sirius and get it all set. So uh, if anybody's planning on installing a stereo, I hope this helps. So uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.